Hello everybody and welcome back to XCOM 2. It's been one week since I played this game. So last time I had a batch of like seven episodes I just uploaded. And since then I haven't played XCOM on the, at least not on Legend difficult. I've been fooling around with mods and uh, playing on Rookie and stuff. So I might be a bit rusty here. So we are in a bit of luck since it's just a uh, non-timed mission, so that's always something. And this is the squad I will bring out. So we have Jake Solomon as our grenadier, we have Kai Ingridsen as our specialist, Kojima is our sharpshooter, Tobias is our ranger, we have another ranger, that's Athena, and then we have the blue Power Ranger, Billy here. With some AP rounds, I'm thinking about if I should give the AP rounds to someone else, like Reindeer instead, because he would mostly like, mostly like, just use grenades most of the time. So, I mean, or that our sharpshooter maybe, I charged it, benefits from this, but yeah. A bit like it's a difficult mission, so we might get new alien types. Uh, our next alien type should be Archons, or I don't think we have met Archons, have we? Or it will be Andromedons. And if it's Andromedons, I want to have this AP rounds on like one of my damage dealers. But I guess this is okay. I also also think that um, the advent will have one bonus armor now because of the dark advent. Dark advent. Sky Ranger Squad green to deploy. And also the timer is ticking out for the avatar project, so that's what I I had to watch an, an old uh, episode to, to <laughs> get up to date what's happening. During a recent skirmish, there's an opportunity here for us to pull some of their technology off the transport. But we'll need to secure the area and eliminate any remaining hostiles to make that happen. And the thing is, since most of these guys are in my character pool, they are in every playthrough I do. So it's really confusing when, uh, like, uh, the uh, Kai is a sniper in another playthrough I'm doing off camera, forces. and here is a specialist, and so on. So it's really hard to know <laughs> what what you're dealing with. Uh, but anyways, I think I know this squad layout pretty well. Mm, let's bring bias up here. Okay, we had a snake uh, woman down there. Can we get you up here on the blue move? Nope. To dash them. Codex. Yeah, I don't like codexes. If I'm going to fight them down here, we don't really need this high ground. This high ground down here is just as good. Good copy. Moving on target. Orders well, confirmed. On the move. At least we have no timer, so. Confirmed. Position confirmed. Scanning. Roger, I've got my eyes. Should be okay Scanning. like this. And they moved away. I hear something to the right though. It almost sounds like a mech, but I'm not sure. Um, this is a zone wall. Sneak up here. Hmm. I mean, if it's a group down here that will climb up on top of this, I don't want to have people standing like here or down here. Which makes it a bit Moving to position. strange. Um, okay, you can still see these guys. Auto 
Source confirmed. Moving out. Maybe. Bien compris. J'y vais. Get our grand tears closer. Yeah, we'll play pretty safe here, like I always do. Overwatch, got it covered. I'm on it. Affirmative. I'm on Covering the scan on core. Yeah, that's the group I heard. I think. Is that only two guys? Well, we can't trigger two groups, not these two groups at least. At the same time. We will have to wait. Moving on target location. Sniper up here. We could fall back, so we I actually hear something over here still. Mm. I'm all over it. Nah, maybe I should just bring uh, these guys back, so we don't see these guys. I wonder what that, what that guy has a buff. Affirmative. T boy. Oh, stay there, that's fine. I'm on it. On Overwatch. Je reste en observation. <laughs> Even looking at us. Sometimes it feels like they cheat a bit. When they move in like this on you. Is anyone inside? Yeah, Tobias is. Very much. Hmm. Can we deal with these two groups in one go? He has one more extra armor. The thing is, I can't move Tobias, and these guys might patrol down here. So I think we need to do this right now. We could use the kill zone and then use everyone, bring everyone a watch. Kill zone, I really like that ability. Works wonders. Right. Let's try this. Got it covered. Roger, I've got my eyes scanning. Moving to Overwatch. Roger. I have no idea what will happen. Kill zone, damn it! <laughs> now she will just get <laughs> shot they and killed. Shoot. I don't know. So be it. Don't disgraced. Took one damage. Barely a hit. It's going swimmingly. Okay, she took eleven damage from what? <laughs> I have no idea what's happening. On AP rounds, where are you? Here they are. Nice. If you shot first, that would have been much better. Impressed yet? Well, could have been much worse, I guess. It could have been much better as well. But the beggars can't be choosers. Oh, you are still in concealment. It's kind of cool. Um, I 
If you kill a target uh, with a sniper rifle, you will. It will not cost an action. So that's pretty good to remember. Um, do we want explosives for these guys? Not even sure we can bring explosives. Take this shot with concealment. I think you have shadow strike. Yeah. That's a pretty good shot, so. <laughs> we didn't crit with uh, like 94%, but. Not too shabby. Don't care too much when they get one shot like that. Flashbang. This looks like a decent grenade. Boom! Boom indeed! At times like this, where the grenadier is so much more powerful than the old heavy, because not only can you move, but you can lob these grenades like anywhere. Instead of the old. Hmm, I wonder if I should. Ah, oh, this should be fine. Stand here. No problem, uh, boss. Instead of the old rocket launcher, where you have to stand still to shoot. And you also had to have line of sight. So. You know that was good. The worst thing with this. Um, Hmm. Do we have dragon rounds? We have. Well, the worst worst thing with the uh, kill zone is that I've seen so many people use it very effectively. While I can't for my life do it. Alright, I'll uh, take another shot then. Can't miss 287 in a row. Well, I've seen them like hit 10 shots in a freaking row. But that's not happening for me. No problem, boss. Well, that went good. Mostly because we was able to destroy that mech. In one go. Rock and roll. They won't see a thing. Move into designated position. Right. I think we just played safe here. Locked and loaded. What's over there? Reload and go on our watches. Ready I mean, we are playing legend. It's like um, I can't <laughs> screw around. When I played on rookie. I actually find the game pretty hard. I still hear something over here, so let's check it out when we can. But I found the game pretty hard, even on Rookie. Uh, I guess I you should almost save scum, but or it was just because I no problem, boss. I didn't really oh, use yeah. like go. all the explosives and stuff like you do when you play on uh, uh, higher I'm difficulties. Going. You need to use all your consumables. While on rookie, you you can go by without most of the time. Moving to Overwatch. On Overwatch, got it covered. Something moved over there. Yeah, we are going to check it out. Don't worry. It's just that uh, all my guys have covered to this direction and not this one, so. Alright. <laughs> that that shield bearer has a lot of armor, that's for sure. But they are pretty far away. I hope it's worth it. 
Whatever you say. Um, I wouldn't mind uh, getting height advantage here. It's clear. I'm going. Another kill zone. Why not? It works so freaking good. I wonder if you can get that ability from uh, advanced warfare. Oh yeah. Okay. Come on, more shots. More shots. Please. More. More kill zone, please. Go Kai! Nice, one damage. Kill zone! Yeah, I didn't get it. Kill zone! Nah. Long range shotguns. Ah! We got two, two shots from uh, the kill zone ability, so... Damn it, he can see me over here. Otherwise, we could have used Shadow Strike. No, okay, you have Shadow Step, never mind then. Then we can just go in for the flank, anyways. If you want to. Um, do we want no to use explosives or do we risk uh, losing something here from that guy? Can kill it with a sniper rifle. Is it worth it? Not really. I mean this grenade is so good. We have to do it. Don't lose the loot, please. Oh. He still has two points of armor. And now you can't see him because reasons. Oh well. Eh, it doesn't really matter too much. As long as this doesn't trigger another group. Okay, he still has our uh, protection. Well, how about that? Do we believe in uh, Overwatches against this guy? How many do we have? Um, we have a couple. I will believe in Overwatches against this guy. He might just shoot at Tobias, but they have pretty lousy aim, so... Um, I can handle that. should be fine to move like that. This will be interesting. Come on, guys. That's uh, the start. Um, here comes the next miss. Watch out, Jake. Oof. Oh, we only need the two oh, watches. Well. So. Guess we are kind of still power spiking here. But the thing is, uh, th these missions are so much easier because of um, 
no timer. Moving on target location. Like uh, when I watched the last uh, episode where I protect the device, these th those missions are so so bad uh, balanced uh, in the late game. I mean, uh, Whatever you say. the aliens can destroy the device before you even get there. And also in my rookie campaign I play without concealment, or I play without concealment rangers. Uh, and concealment rangers are stupidly What's good. I mean, there's so much you can do with it. Is it clear? It's like um, the best consumable in the game. It's almost like a mimic beacon. So you get um, a phantom, which is like one mimic beacon, and then you get conceal. That's almost as powerful as another mimic beacon as well. So I guess there will be something over here since we have dealt with most of the guys on this side. I feel okay. I can be wrong, but. Where will you stand? Yeah, I can stand over here. No Billy. problem, boss. Oh. On overwatch. They're repositioning on us. That's uh, <laughs> a group with two guys. Might not get too many watches against those. Though. Advent forces on oh. the ground. Seed bearer. I think he only had three armor. No, he had four. Height advantage makes overwatch shots hit pretty reliable. Okay, that guy's burning, this guy is armored. <laughs> Very badly armored. Um, but you have the AP rounds, don't you? Yeah. I'm going. Take the shot. We need some holo targeting guys. Not even close. That's what I feel. What's over there? Seems doable. I don't think she will get a uh, nice line of sight down there. I mean, he is burning, so whatever. And this guy will most likely use the armor, and I don't have any ways to deal with that, anyways. Heading out. Right now, so all right, I'll go. Come get some. Right. Um, you have Talon rounds. Oh, take the shot. We'll just stay back here and wait, anyways. That's not good. Moving to Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. So this guy, I, I think you can't even shoot when you're burning. So he's a non-factor here. And now he's dead. So One it's just down. this guy, Let's and he has like. like uh, no offensive capabilities, but he's taking cover behind these things. Eek. I'm all right. Or he doesn't have any offensive capabilities. Did I say offensive uh, or defensive? Uh, I'm not sure. The thing is, I don't want to use grenades. 
I guess this guy. But I don't have any ways. Oh. Go. Skull mine. Super safe. Jack deployed. Small intel catch. Otherwise we take damage. E yes. I'm hoping we don't trigger anything else now because you have the mimic beacon. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Flawless mission. I think we got off pretty easy there. T boy. <laughs> He's rocking the shards here. But that's uh, the reindeer's job. I wonder when you use the Skalyak if that counts as damage. I don't think so. Because Kai just the one shot to the guy. Shield bearer, that's pretty good. That's one thing I like with uh, XCOM 2 is that you have An impressive a performance, Commander. Our troop skills are improving with every deployment. That you have the ability to use melee attacks, even if the sword is kind of lackluster, but you can use a skull mine and stuff. Um, so, I said we need holo targeting, but we also need uh, extra grenades. Let's go extra grenades. What did we get? Supplies, a lot of supplies, advanced stock, superior laser sight, this is really good. The best laser sight. That will give us like plus 45. Or at least 30% crit in uh, if you're in melee range. Hmm. Cool. So what were we doing? <laughs> Can get supplies, but I really think we need to go here. This thing has three dots. I think if we deal with this facility, we will remove three dots up here. We need to make contact over here, and then here, and then we get here. Could also go and sell some intel, I guess. Ah. Setting course for the Arctic territories. I never know if it's worth it to go and get these or these. Like, sure, I think we have plenty of alloys, but you can sell them. Regional contacts right. located. So we will get the new supply drop in two days. So I can't make a new antenna here before this. So we could start uh, scanning for these. Or we just take action on this. I mean we need to get over here. Let's just build this. These findings will likely prove crucial to our ongoing efforts, Commander. Eastern US? We already have one in Eastern US. Do they have two over there? I'm not sure. Um, so I think we need to start researching these. Yeah, we got a lot of Illyrium crystals from that mission, so we can actually build new weapons. Do we need new weapons or new armor first? The problem with researching the weapons is that it costs much more. You have to research the rifle, the shard gun, the sniper rifle and so forth, while powered, ar powered armor would give you all at the same time. So this is a hard choice. But I mean, if you start Hmm, no, we need to get uh, these blue screen rounds if we're going to deal with mechanical units as well. 
Six days. Okay, well, these robotic. Let's go with this and we will try. Apparently, my predecessor was something of a brute when it came to handling the interrogation and. We'll try to maybe buy. Um. Some research for uh, the weapons or something, maybe? I'm not Maximum sure. Power consumption reached. So we have cleared this area, we can start clearing here. Um, we have one, two, three, three engineers. Four engineers. We have one, set that's three to use. There's been plenty of gripes about my flying, but I don't see anybody else stepping up other than the autopilot. <laughs> so we can uh, get these explosives quicker, or we can continue digging, or we could build something. I'm not sure if we should build like maximum power consumption the workshop. We are kind of lacking in uh, engineers. I don't really want to have the workshop over here because that will only be able to... Well, we'll get power down here, so a gremlin would be beneficial in this position as well because we most likely always occupy this area and the resistance comes. So that's okay, but it will take forever to build since we will have to use one engineer here to get the power. Otherwise, we could Maximum build a shadow chamber. Reached. Don't have the supplies for it though. Let's just send him over here to help with this. Ah, I think this is fine. By the way, can we research anything new here? Oh, I didn't know we didn't have cool under pressure. I mean, we need this for our specialists. <laughs> so many things we need, though. I mean, we need to almost recruit more people as well. It's not like I see anyone. Yeah, we have a Power Ranger here. And Victor. 40 supplies. Nah, this is too expensive. Screw you guys. Let's just build these until we get the supply drop. Incoming message for you, Commander. Patching it through to your quarters he would be pissed now. about Leading this. the resistance is a daunting task, Commander. But your efforts so far have left many wondering if we have made the right Yikes. approach. We will have. It's mostly about better. these dark events, I think. All right, increasing the cost of recruits. That's fine. Uh, Viper rounds. That's okay. I could reveal this. Oh, we have a retaliation strike as well. Um, well, retaliation coming in. No, yes, no, yes. Yeah. Half dead Lothar. Laughter, maybe. <laughs> or slaughter. Um, Setting course for okay. sector 5. So India. last time we had Berserkers, I think. So if this follows like all my other playthroughs, we will have chrysalids for this mission. Can that be true? If that's the case, we will need to bring uh, medkits. So, uh, yeah, Kai would get a medkit, I guess, from someone. Yeah. But other than that, and we could get some more scanners and stuff. Because it's really important that we can cure the venom from the chrysalids if we get hit. Also, the fire rounds is really good because that will help immensely. 
Uh, we might even bring fire grenades, I think. Even if they are less powerful than the plasma grenades. So, yeah. I think we will go dual rangers, dual grenadiers, uh, specialist with medkit, and a sharpshooter with um, a scanner. I still don't know how to use the scanners against uh, these guys, but also it would be nice if she were more of a gunslinger because then she could use the firing rounds on mo more, more chrysalids. That's one thing I would kind of like. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'm happy that uh, we actually finished this first mission off my break, so uh, hopefully the next one will go just as well. But like I said, uh, it might be chrysalids here, and that's always a problem. Because I haven't uh, dealt with them on Legend still uh, yet, so... And they usually get off uh, free attacks, and that's always a problem. But anyways, thank you guys for watching, and i see you again next time. Goodbye!